Welcome everybody, and we're here with another Elden Ring video. In the last episode, we basically ended up traversing the whole Helic Tree, and we ended up right in front of Melania. Melania is very... it's one of the hardest bosses. I feel like it's, it's the hardest boss in this game. And there's been people that basically lost to her more than 500 times. They died 500 times to her, and it was so satisfying to beating her and everything. So, the first time I played through, I actually, since I used sorcery magic, I st stayed afar shooting her, shooting magic, and I, it was just not by myself, I had a help as well, and that was the only way I could actually defeat her. And then, the second time I went through, it was with incantations, another magic, the lightning and everything, so, and then the third time I defeated her was with, um, I saw our arcane build. I used the uh, Sworn of Flies, I think it was called, Incantation, to bleed her. And I had help as well on that one. So, just so you guys could see her, I'm just gonna go transverse through it so you can see how she is. Look at that. She's already running towards me. Look at all the blood stains on the floor. And basically, she, every time he, she hits you or hits anything, like you'll say, you're my phantom. She heals a portion of her health. And then she has hyper armor on some of her attacks. And then there's one attack that's very dangerous. That one. That's the... Look at that. Look at her health recover. And you can't do anything from that attack. Just dodge. And she recover about like 30% of what we did to her. And that's what's that's what's uh, frustrating because she heals from each attack. Then, and the sad part is, it's not even all that at all. And there you go. She killed my Phantom. My Phantom have like about four or five times more of my HP. Oh, she would have killed me right there. No! Oh! One shot! <laughs> As you can see. And this is nothing. You still gotta see after what she does. After all those attacks, her HP was over half still. So, there you have it. That's, one, that's the hardest boss. For me, that's the hardest boss in the game. Let me see if I have any other weapon, because I feel like this one's a little too slow. I've seen people actually use this one. 18 decks. They use this one to kind of like cheese it. Cheeser. We're going to try about two more times, but this time I'm going to get help. So, that way you guys can see how much... Uh, so, basically, so you play online. So, there's like the first online so you can see a lot of people here already this guy is katana so it's bleeding bleed damage so that's good and able to summon cooperator buttocks summoning cooperator fate i think you can only summon up to two people so these are basically people that are playing online as well and this is how you play co-op you have one of your friends put their down their sign and then you summon them into the, your world to help you. Hey! Hey! Ready? Let's go. So let's see if we actually can beat her this time with help. There you go, that's the first phase. With help, 
it's much easier. I feel like a lot of people are already experienced on defeating her and everything. So, as you can see, black flames and bleed does a lot of damage to her. And if we're it's three of us, we tend to stagger her, so she has no time to attack us. So this is the last the person that helped me defeat her right now, but it's not over yet. <laughs> Just so you can see the devastation that's waiting for us, though. Wait. And there you have it. There's a second phase. So imagine going through this the first time and you actually defeat her, finally you defeat her after 100 deaths. And then for this to come out, people went crazy like, what? There's a second phase? And it's even harder now because she poisons you, well, it's called Car the Scarlet Rot. And that does a lot of more damage than poison. So basically this boss is kind of... It's kind of bullshit. <laughs> but there you have it, this is the second phase and it's a full bar again. And basically all she had again... myself that uh, would have been so hard thanks to these guys thank you guys appreciate your help thank you guys and as you see the hope Anything is possible with friends. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for doing it that way, but uh, she's she's too much. Let's just get more vigor, more HP, and basically after we killed her, she that's what comes out of her. And that's it. That's pretty much it for this area. You could basically go around and um, explore more so I'm gonna do more of the this area here explore more we still gotta do more stuff around here and then after that we still gotta do the underground of Lindo which is uh, the underground roadside right here we gotta do the basically the sewers of that before we continue with the fire giant but before that we still gotta do right card so let's go check out right card uh, I think it's audience pathway. Remember that snake? I'm I'm uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm going to try to do it. Probably gonna summon help as well. As you can see, more blood stains all over the floor. On this one, I think we need the. Uh, Where's the spear at? This one. The spear, and let me see if I could use the online again. Have people help me out a little bit. There's one summon sign. Let's see if there's any more up here. So 
So basically, having people helping you out is a little easier. Well, it's much easier. Hey! Let me see if there's any more. If not, we're just gonna go through it. Well, let's go. Did he die? Oh no. <laughs> I was about to say. Lagging so badly. Nice. God devouring serpents. But once again, this guy, as you saw before in my previous episode when I was in the Volcano Manor, he has a second face. And literally a second face. <laughs> the devourer. Very well. I'm much stronger than before, so you're not gonna kill me this time. And that's the famous Blasphemous Blade. That's one of the best faith weapons in the game. Thank you, man. A semper serpent never dies. And there you have it. It's another boss down that couldn't defeat. And then we're gonna do lastly the Kaled Kaled boss. So we did that one now. And then we still have I think it was a Kaled at nighttime. Right here. 
Time to get my revenge. I'm gonna summon my mimic. And hopefully we'll be able to take him down. Time. Let's rest once more. Get the bubble, and then let's summon the mimic. Can't even summon mimic. No. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> the fucking guy. Can't even heal. Look at that. <laughs> Damn, I can't even summon my mimic here. This gets still a little too hard. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can summon people out here as well. <laughs> Summoning people for this guy. Kaled. The Kaled Belberry. This guy's too much, man. Let's pass the time once again. Nightfall. <clears throat> Let's rest. And let me see if I could summon more people. Can I even summon people? <laughs> I sound like a little, a little, little girl. How is this guy doing so much damage? Look at that! I can't even <laughs> react. I can't be too far or I can't be too close. Like right in the middle. Well, we'll come back after <laughs> later after for this guy. <coughs> We're probably gonna do more. Let me see where else where what else we got left. Millennia and right card. The two bosses are defeated with help. <laughs> We're probably gonna go back to the Helic Tree and just help out people just to finish off the episode. Helic Tree Rune. I'm gonna show you how to basically play online, how to help out people. It's just a war, our memories of the affinities. basically here since you we come up up to here and then we put down it says create a summon sign for proper multiplayer so you use this one to basically write down your sign and then you just basically be patient and somebody's gonna end up summoning you see like that that white phantom there he's uh he's a uh, 
is somebody playing right now in the in the same area. I like that guy as well. So that's basically how you play online. You just go to inventory, and it should be these the yellow the yellow ones. The yellow ones. These are to basically show reveal co-op summon signs. This is right there. This is to put your summon sign, and then this one is to see you. I'm, I'm being summoned already. Sends a co-op sign to summoning pools. So people that are this one sends your summon signs to basically the summoning pools that you activate, and it shows random people's um, signs there. So you could be summoned anywhere. It could be right in front of this one, or in the beginning of the area, or different. Summon a throw finger. Didn't do it too. <laughs> hey! So we're gonna help this guy defeat Melania now. And whenever he's ready. Let's do this. And then basically if you help out people online. Your flash card has basically. That's the attack that everybody hates. We got her. Millennium down once again. Then probably after we defeat her or we die to her, uh, this is where I'm gonna end the episode. Sure, remember the NPC Melissa Millicent? It's kind of like related to her. As you see, her hell is not all the way up. Kill me. 
Well, that's what I get for getting a little hungry. Hopefully, good luck, guys. You got this. You almost have her. The weapon I have is not really that good for her because she's too quick <coughs> and my weapon's a little so slow. And there you have it, that's Melania. At least we defeat her in my world. <laughs> so if you enjoy my content, be sure to leave a like, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, you're always welcome to subscribe. And leave a funny comment, I would love to read them. And as always, this is Envy, signing out. See you in the next video. Bye bye.